Ultimately, we want to, we're going to be given a couple of points, some coordinates, and we want to know, is this point a solution to this inequality? But backing up just a little bit, a couple quick reminders. When you have your inequality symbols, your little alligators, if you have a symbol like this, when you open it up, it would make capital L, and so that's less than. If you open it up and it does not make the letter L, then by default, that's gonna be greater than. Okay, so this reading things, this one opens up to make an L, so less than. This one opens up to make an L, but there's an underline, so it means less than or equal to. This one opens up and does not make an L, so greater than. That one's underlined, so greater than or equal to. Okay, some other background. Most of you know, or you learned the first time, that the alligator eats the bigger number. But another way to think of this, especially when we're dealing with negative numbers, is that you want the better payday. You're gonna gobble up the bigger amount of the pay. Check. Yeah, the bigger paycheck. So um, when you're dealing with negative numbers, if you owe $10, negative 10, or you owe $20, I would rather owe $10 than owe $20. So the better amount, even though we're owing money, would be negative 10. So I'm gonna gobble the one I'd rather have. Okay, so then um, from there, we're just gonna make some substitutions. So here we go. I'm gonna take X and replace it with negative nine and Y and replace it with negative two. When you make that substitution, good notation, you put a set of parentheses where the variable used to be. So the X is a set of parentheses, the Y is a set of parentheses. I'm gonna insert negative nine for X and negative two for Y. And if you just pick up your calculator because we've used really good notation, you can type in exactly what I see on the left side and hit enter. And I'm gonna get the equivalent of the left side. And that ends up being negative 24. I'm gonna bring down the negative 18 and then we're thinking, is this true? Negative 18 and negative 24. That's like I owe somebody $18 and I owe somebody $24. I would rather owe 18 than owe 24. So we are gobbling up the one that I would rather have. So that's true. Okay, so for this one here, just thinking about I would rather gobble up the 018 instead of 024. So we are eating the better deal. So this one is yes. All right, so the next one, same thing. I'm gonna start with my inequality, my original. And this time I'm gonna replace the X with eight and the Y with five. If you type this straight across in your calculator with good notation and hit enter, four times eight is 32 minus six times five is 30. You're gonna end up getting negative two, 28 minus 30, negative two, and then bring down my inequality. Okay, so thinking about this in terms of money, negative two is like owing somebody $2 and negative 18 is like owing 18. Between these, I would rather owe $2. So I'm, I should be gobbling up this side, but our inequality symbol is facing this way. So we are not eating the better deal. So substituting eight five did not lead to a true statement. So this one is no. Okay, just one extra example. Substituting in five for X, negative three for Y. Again, you could do this by in your head. Four times five is 20. Negative six times negative three is positive 18. 20 plus 18 is 38. Or you can just type that straight across. I'm gonna bring down my less than or equal to negative 18 
thinking about money here. Positive 38 is like you have $38. Negative 18 is like owing somebody 18. And between these two, I'd rather have 38 than owe somebody 18. So I wish I was gobbling this direction, but this inequality symbol is gobbling that way. And that is not the way it should be. So we are not eating the better deal. So five negative three led to a false statement. So I'm going to say no. If there's an underline, just a quick side note, if there's an underline, let's say this side was 38 and this side was 38. If there's an underline, it would be true because it's or equal to. But if there's no underline, they cannot be the same on both sides.